Hi, this is the second episode of the Open Layers mini series. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss the next. Markers are a great solution if you want to show the location of your business. However, if you have multiple points on the map, such as airports, it's better to load them from an external file. In this episode, I'll show you how. I'm going to use data in GeoJSON format. GeoJSON is an open standard for simple geographic features and their non-spatial attributes. It's based on human-readable text format called JSON, which stands for JavaScript Object Notation, and it's widely used on the web. GeoJSON can be used to represent Buckingham Palace as a polygon, the route to the nearest bike rack as a line, and the bike rack itself as a point. To add GeoJSON to your map, create a new vector layer in the same way as we did in the first episode. This time, in a new vector source, define the URL of your GeoJSON and format. Not surprisingly, the format will be a new open layers format, GeoJSON. For my point data, I'll use the airports from Natural Earth. You can find a link to this data and the code used in this video in the description below. I uploaded the airports to MapTiler Cloud, where you can host and even edit your data. The data came in shapefile format and MapTiler Cloud automatically converted it into GeoJSON. Now I can just copy the link to the GeoJSON file and paste it into the code. To make this layer visible, we must add the airport layer to the map. Now let's change the icon. I'm going to use a plane. I don't need to define the anchor this time, but I will need to specify size and scale. My icon is 512 by 512 pixels, and if I don't change the scale, it would look like this. Thankfully, with open layers, it's easy to adjust. You just need to define the size of your icon and scale. And that's it. Now you can see all the airport locations marked with a plane on the map. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss the next episode of this mini-series, where we'll add a polygon layer to our map and create a pop-up. Bye for now.